year after year, Sweden is highly ranked in quality of life. With the 72-hour cabin case study, we wanted to illustrate and investigate what the effects might be of being in Swedish nature. Is it possible to reduce stress during 72 hours in Swedish nature? The 72-hour cabin case study is a Swedish initiative in which five people from different countries with stressful jobs and lifestyles are invited to participate in this experience and see how this will affect their well-being and stress levels. The methods used in this case study are well-used measures uh, of mood and stress levels such as blood pressure and heart rate. Also patterns of thinking including creative thinking. I live in one of the biggest uh, cities in the world, uh, in New York, um, and it's, uh, it's always a hustle and a bustle to get from one place to the other. Nature can help reduce the bads that stress does to us in the sense that it enhances our mood, reduces our stress levels and enhances our recovery. Wow, look at that. Home sweet home. I know. The beauty of the, the glass cabins is that you don't feel like you're pulling a curtain between you and the wilderness. You're still a part of nature when you walk along and you just see it there, but you don't really because you see straight through it. You know what I really love is the way each one has been placed in a slightly different uh, perspective. Each of us essentially is going to have a slightly different wilderness experience. I think there's a, really, a, a real beauty in that. Oh, you fell asleep. Feeling, do, do you feel calm now? I'm sorry, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't think You're a work in progress. Yeah. When we're coming directly from a very hectic lifestyle, there's a lot of processes still going on in our brains. During the first day, it's about landing in this natural space. Welcome to Sweden. Oh, lovely. The 72 hour cabin project in the Swedish wilderness, getting close to nature, is like pressing a pause button on life. It gives you time to reflect and I think makes you a better person. I slept like a baby and the moon was, was amazing. Becca and I are enjoying the kayaking so much that we decide to go and try to bring in the crayfish pot. Probably a kayak isn't the, isn't the ideal boat for trying to bring in crayfish. You don't see Swedish guys doing that, but anyway. But for lots of people, the wilderness can be a very scary place. The forest, the open ocean and open lake, all of those things. But what I think you have here in Sweden is a way of having comfortable wilderness. By distancing ourselves from uh, the technology that we, we've all become addicted to in kind of Western culture and, and urban society, that actually if you take those away, it, it makes everything lighter and, and it gives you a very, very different experience. We saw that their connectedness to nature increased significantly. Their moods improved. They felt more calm, less stressed, less worried. Pulse is down a lot. Do you think 72 hours was a good sort of time? No, I think 72 hours was a perfect amount of time to, um, to kind of feel the change. They also were less stressed in their bodies in terms of reduced blood pressure. The 72-hour cabin project has been 
one of the most fascinating things that I've done. It's been something genuinely new and interesting. It's had an effect on me. The Swedish lifestyle has really a big effect to my life. you can find inner peace in 72 hours. I, I, I actually thought this was going to be another holiday, but it, it really has been a life-changing experience.